All right, guys, I'm going to walk you through how to um, use foam and uh, your foundry to do lost foam casting. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut out a basic pattern. So I'm going to make just a real simple pattern here. And it's not going to be the oh, I don't I don't know. Know. Okay. Oh, okay. Mr. Tyler, you think that's in the workroom? What is it? That would be the If you guys do this, you'll actually have a... Uh, pick out a uh, pattern and draw it on there first, and then we'll cut it out. I'm just going to eyeball some stuff. I like it. Now it fit over the uh, piece of cheese. Later on, when you had uh, the top attached here, you have like a little. It's too small. Didn't you already make one of those yourself? The cheese. Uh, Isn't that too small? Yes. Right. After you've got your design there, uh, you need to have more. You need to have a space on it that's at least like a three-quarter inch circle. That way, you can attach your handle onto it later on. You're gonna sand it. You can use uh, the 100 grit sandpaper. Roof Daddy, what's up? Okay. This scroll sock. When you use a scroll sock, um, if you don't hang on to the pipe, it will bounce up and down, especially with the foam. Make sure you keep the pipe to the table. Right now, I'm going to make a sprue and a riser. I can just get just a sprue. See that they're uh, going to have a little 45 grain with it. Got my cheese cutter. I don't understand how it's going to be a cheese grater. I know. Not cheese grater, cheese slicer. I don't get it. Can we make a cheese grater? Um, as you pour these in, you want to consider the, um, the location of where the pour is going to go. I'm going to put it in a place where it's about in the middle and then it could fill out to both sides. The advantage of lost foam casting compared to um, green sand casting is that you can make things that you otherwise could never make uh, in green sand. For example, this object right here would not be possible because the sides were straight and vertical. In green sand casting, that tapered angle that's required to release the pattern would make this impossible. You'd have to do a lot of machining afterwards. So, uh, let the rubber cement dry. them together. Uh, lost foam casting accounts for I think 29% of all aluminum casting that's done. And since 1990 when Saturn started making cars, Saturn they do all, <laughs> they do all of their casting. I've got, uh, I've got my actual pattern now. This is for the uh, bottom piece of the cheese slicer. Um, I'm going to just take the whole, this is, this is the actual product I'm going to have you'll fill this entire cavity with aluminum. So what's going to happen is I'm going to place it in here. I've got that rubber cement in there. I'm going to use this funnel kind of as a scoop. This is sand. This is actually just regular sand you'd use for concrete. <laughs> there are little chunks of foam that have uh, burnt up. Good 
Chris, why don't you just go in the hall? What? I'm just saying. It was a conversation. I'm just saying. Why don't you go in the hall? Are you, are you telling me to, or are you Yes, I'm lying? telling you, you need to go to the hall right now. All right.